redundant yet. watching this, if you can handle me, then you probably had a similar experience as me. And you haven't just started having it, you've had it your whole life. Or you just 
just don't fit in. It doesn't matter what you do. It's not good enough. People don't understand. I would much rather just be myself. I would much rather be misunderstood and have people hate me and have people talk shit about me and call me crazy and all this shit than try to do what they're doing and just feel like even more of a fucking waste of space, you know? Because I legitimately enjoy my life. Even if it's really hard sometimes, you know? I don't think that life being hard is a bad thing. I think that that just means that you're actually living your life, you know? If you're able to appreciate the bad things, then you're more likely to appreciate the good things. And I think that more good things will come to you if you can understand why the bad things are important. And we live in a candy out society, okay? We live in a society comprised of a bunch of entitled, useless sacks of shit, okay? And yeah, I am judging them. I'm totally judging them, but I'm allowed because I'm a comedian. You don't have to think that I'm funny. You don't have to think I have talent. I'm gonna keep doing this because I wanna. Like I said, out of spite, out of spite, out of spite, motherfucking spite. Please repeat the things that I say as if you have merit. As if we don't contradict ourselves from day to day, everybody does it. As if anybody's perfect except the Lord Jesus Christ. As if nobody's allowed to make a mistake sure that you're above this. I think I should do just one chord because it's easier for me to focus. And then just add to it whenever I feel like it. I'm not a musician. I kind of sort of hate being a comedian. Because there's a very, 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 very degenerate element to it. But the difference is, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. The difference is, I don't see myself as a victim, because I don't make myself a victim. I don't put myself in situations where I'm more likely to be taken advantage of. Taken advantage of. Most people that think they're a victim end up a victim of a pharmaceutical company. And just because they don't want to do any alternative research. That doesn't mean that you don't get what's coming. People just don't value their experience. People don't value their bloodstream. People don't value their emotions. They don't value their thoughts. That's why they don't mind when thoughts are planted into their head. They don't even notice. I 
where most people are dead. That's where most people have a black head. Why do you think they send that emoji? It's just like a fucking box. I've noticed that. I see that all the time, like multiple people sending multiple boxes, emoji, whatever the fuck. So if you actually push back on this stupid ass culture, if you actually push back on this stupid ass country, if you're a contrarian, not just your mindset, but like your actions, people fucking hate you because they don't actually want that. I don't care what anybody says, they don't actually want that. They want to complain about how that doesn't exist, but they're not seeking that out. They really aren't. They just want to complain. Because there, there are people out there that are doing it weird, okay? There are plenty of people out there that are, you know, doing their own thing. But we don't really care about being seen. We don't really care about people paying attention to us and all that shit. I won't be putting up so many fucking videos. I won't be doing this so much. Working my ass off. If I, I didn't feel like it was the right thing for me to do. If I wasn't like hardcore believing what I believe, I wouldn't even bother, you know? And I think that, that people are like legitimately envious of that because they don't believe in anything that much to work that hard and not get paid, you know? But here's the thing, I, I kind of wasted my life up until I turned 30. I felt like I kind of wasted my life. I didn't, I didn't waste anything. But I wasn't pursuing any kind of goal, you know? My life was very aimless much like the name of my first YouTube channel. And so because I was aimless, I didn't have any direction. I wasn't taking anything anywhere. And maybe that that's my problem now too, but I'm on the internet and there is a part of me that absolutely hates it because I hate the fact that people scrutinize things, but they don't know how to scrutinize anything. They really don't. I mean, if you wanted to understand my perspective more, you'd watch more of my content, or you'd actually listen to me. Or you'd read the description, you know? But people ain't got time for that. So I think that the only people that, that really have time for that are creative people. It's gonna be artists. It's not gonna be some piece of shit mass consumer that is just fucking with people on the internet or, you know, they just stumble upon my channel and they get offended by it because they don't know that I'm a fucking insult comic. But you don't have to find me funny in order for me to be a comedian. I mean, that's what's really cool about comedy is that you don't have to be funny at all. You know, and I know that people are gonna say that about me. And I mean, they already have. But everybody's funny to somebody, you know? There are plenty of people that do stand-up that I don't find funny at all. But there are people in the audience that find them funny. So it's not right for me to be like, no, you suck, you suck. I didn't get that joke. This is what you should do instead. You know, it's like, I have no right to say that. But so that's why I know that these people aren't fucking artists because any artist would know better than to judge other people's art and say that it's fucking terrible, you know? But of course it comes across as really judgmental because like that's part of 
the art form of stand-up comedy is like thinking that you know better. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna get up on stage and hold a microphone in your hand and talk about your perspective and try to make people laugh and mock other people and shit like that, yeah, that that's that's something that an arrogant person would do, you know. And I kind of figured that people would figure that out, at least on YouTube, because, you know, I have the, the stand-up, my stand-up routine, like, featured, but they don't know that on Rumble. But, yeah, I just, I just hate having to explain things. It's so annoying, because I feel like I already do that. Like, part of what I do is just explaining my perspective over and over and over again, which is so fucking exasperating. I'm always frustrated Not that I'm complaining Cause it's just part of it You gotta feel like shit In order to get right back to gratitude and if you can be grateful for the times in your life that weren't that much fun, then you've made it, you've made it, you've made it. And if you can look at people in the eye that call you crazy, and you can still respect them somewhat, or be civil anyway, then you've made it. If you can walk up to people that have told you flat out that you're probably going to kill yourself and say thank you for saying that, it made me stronger, it made me better at what I do. If you can do that, then you've made it, you've really fucking made it. Some people don't want to make it big, some people don't want attention, some people don't want to be liked, they don't want to be popular, they don't want all the stupid shit that the plebeian sheep seem to want, but I don't expect a narcissist to understand that. So basically when people criticize you, they're criticizing you from, you know, their perspective. Like they, they think, well, you should want this, or you should act this way, or you should dress this way. You shouldn't say that because they're looking at it from their, their mindset of like, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't wear that, you know, and that's fucking wrong. It really is. Now, I just talk a bunch of shit. Um, because this is the internet, alright? And if you're on social media, you've already resigned yourself to that. You, you've already made the statement without having to make the statement that you're fine with people judging each other and saying whatever they want about situations that they probably know little to nothing about, okay? Because that's Twitter for you. That's Facebook. People love to go on these social networks and run their fucking mouth and tell other people what to do and all that shit. I won't do that because I don't agree with that. But you best believe, you best believe that I am going to say whatever I want doing stand-up, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, try to fucking sugarcoat my perspective, you know, it's like, oh, it reminds me of, um, this interview that I saw with Christopher Hitchens, I'm sure you'd be surprised I like Christopher Hitchens, because he was still called atheist, that wrote several books, um, 
denying the existence of God and dog and organized religion and all that shit, but I love the fuck out of Christopher here since he's so funny. He and I have the same views of women, but um, that goes a long way for me. So he was doing an interview, I think it was on CNN, and it was about Hillary Clinton. And this was during the Obama administration, I think. And there was this chick that was really offended by his opinion of Hillary Clinton. And she was like, that's just your opinion, Christopher. And he goes, oh, would you prefer it if I stated your opinion? And the answer to that, Christopher, is yes. All women would prefer it if you stated their opinion. And I would say that since the internet has turned every man into a woman, that is exactly what most people want, okay? These people on the internet, if you say anything that they don't like, they get upset because they don't agree with you. But that's stupid because they're not you, you're allowed to have your opinion. And no, you're not entitled to it. I don't know why people say that. I think that people need to stop using that term in order to express the fact that we're allowed to have our own personal sentiment towards anything that we want. And we don't have to be informed on the subject either. You know? Like, information is not required. Are you kidding me? This is the information age. And practically everybody has a smartphone in their pocket at all times. And they are dumber. Every five minutes, they are dumber and more arrogant. Okay? So, you can't tell me that people really mind judgment. You can't tell me that people really mind when, when people don't know what they're talking about. Okay? Because if you really had a problem with it, you get off the fucking internet. Like, because the internet is such a hot spot for that. That's why I, I stay off the radar. That's why I have this, this little YouTube channel that has so much content on it. It's because this is what I'm supposed to do for my people. If you my people, take a shot of booze for me. For me, because I don't drink anymore. But... Man, oh man, would I get fucked up if I did. <sighs> yeah, I'm really missing weed right now, you guys. It's been like four days. I don't know what I'm going to do. I keep having these really vivid dreams, and like, I don't like it. So... I might just try to microdose that shit because I, I, like I said, I don't think the drugs are the problem. I think that the quantity of drugs is the problem. It's all how you do something, you know? But maybe I'm just trying to hold on to something because I'm weak. I'm a little weakling. But it's good that God still loves me.